Hey everybody, it's Setla38 here. We actually just got in our box of Big League Baseball. This was fairly cheap. I want to say it was about $33 for this hobby box. There's no guarantees about what's here, but it looks pretty fun. I've seen some uh, good cards being pulled from here, kind of rarish sort of cards. We know that the uh, baseball class that is presented here is going to be hopefully uh, coming up here in a few days should there be some agreement with the players and the leadership of MLB. Anyways, let's open this up. 18 packs, 10 cards per pack here. This ended up being about 33 bucks. I was able to get it pretty cheap before somebody sold out of it and they shipped it priority mail so it came incredibly quick. We don't have this over in our local Walmart, at least not yet, but it seems like we never get restocks anyways. And anywhere else that I want to go here in the next few days is kind of all busy with new cases of what's happening right now. So uh, I kind of am staying at home with the little one. All right, let's open this on up. We got the packs right here. All right. Hopefully we get something fun out of this. Uh, let's get the odds going. There aren't too many odds here. So if you can see what's going on. It looks like we've got the rainbow foil at 1 of 38. We got black and white ones at 175. There's a red foil at 1 in 4,000 packs. Various roll call inserts. Autographs at 1 in 2,000 packs. Ballpark oddities at 1 of 554. Uh, and then it goes up from there. There's various red foils are kind of the gets for this box. So let's see what we have here. Nice and easy open to these packs. That is delightful. We'll start off with a Paul DeYoung. Kluber, the Rangers. Lucas Giolito, you're looking for his rookie card a while back. Jorge Soler. Pete Alonso card. Let's look at actually before we get into the insert card, how these look. Typical uh, tops approach to everything with a lot of information with regards to time spent in the minor leagues and major leagues. A little bit of biographical information, of course. And a little did you know sort of thing, little types of factoids that you can go and, uh, I don't know, annoy your friends with. We have a Max Kepler card here. Star Caricature Reproduction. Done by Rich Molinelli. Seems like a hit. Uh, got an orange card coming up too. Oh, George Springer. Nothing too special on it. It's not numbered or anything, but a little bit of color here does keep things nice and interesting. Andelchen Simmons, Victor Robles, and Jose Abreu ends our first pack. Pack two, coming on up. Starting us off with Michael Chavis. Doubles lead, uh, leaders. Good. Seeger, Ozzy Albies, and Anthony Rendon. We got Acuna for our um, personal collection with a pretty cool looking slide in. Will Smith as our next card. Eugenio Suarez, Max Muncy on the uh, flipping out variation. Number 10 here again, not a uh, numbered card here, of course, but a little bit of biographical information that's all present here. So a little bit of narrative, um, July 16th of last year. That one up here too. Hanser Alberto for our orange card. D. Gordon. Josh Donaldson. And Colton Wong. 
end of our second pack. Ah, pack three. Eduardo Escobar, Rafael Devers, National League hits leaders here. Ketel Marte in there. Uh, Matt Olson, Renato Nunez, Garrett Cole, Chris Paddock for the Padres. I got Tatis Jr. for a defensive Wizards subset. So lots of variations here, lots of fun things that you can see uh, coming up in with each and every pack you open. Pete Alonzo award winners, looking dapper in that suit. And then Bregman to conclude the pack. All right, pack four. Brian Reynolds to start us off. Nelly Cruz as our award winners. Javi Baez. Altuve. Jumping through. And that was a good throw, but not jumping. Scherzer. Dallas Keuchel. Brian Reynolds for our orange parallel. Roll call. Victor Robles. Definitely looking like a mid-90s card right there. I like how... The aesthetic is for that. Sunny Gray. And the ERA leaders here as I twitch a bit. Here's a back for those uh, various big league best subset cards. Looks like we got a variation, a different color back here for the next pack of cards. Let me readjust a bit. Michael Franco. Whip leaders, of course. Brandon Crawford. Gene Segura. Carlos Carrasco. Award winners there. Yeah, Trevor Story with another of the caricature cards. That's, a, I guess, a all from Molinelli, or at least the majority of them. Um, I guess we could put Trevor Story ahead of Kepler here. Very up the look. Gavin Lux on the orange parallel, so that's a solid rookie here. I think that's our first hit. Again, not numbered, but good for the PC. You got a Pujols. You got Josh Hader. And then what looked different to me? was a Joe Musgrove, and that's just because I was opening the packs myself. So this one is a black border variant, which looks pretty common, actually. Hmm, wonder if these are one in a pack or if there's some difference between them. I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to dig through the previous cards here. Yeah, most of the cards have a blue back, but it looks like there's some that have a black back. I don't know if that's a, a divisional sort of thing or what that really entails, but... Let's go and put that Gavin Lux in a penny sleeve real quick. I finally got restocked a bit. One of the eBayers, PDX Football Peter, whatever, is being incredibly slow on uh, shipping out some top loaders to me. And it was very dismissive when I actually emailed him back. So kind of poor form from someone that has about 300,000 feedback. But hopefully I'll make it right here soon. I think we had bought something before from him and it wasn't too much of a struggle, but this time it's been like pulling teeth. Hopefully everything's all right on that seller's end. All right, next pack. Zach Collins. Cabin Biggio. We still need to get some rookies of Biggio. We need to break something a little bit older for that, though. Another paddock here. Ryan McMahon. You got a strikeout leaders for the NL. You got Tim Anderson for the flipping out subset, parallel set. Subset, I guess. Max Muncie as our orange. Mookie Betts is our uh, near end card. Run scored leaders. 
one of the big leagues best. And a Corey Seager. This looked interesting on the back when I opened the pack up. Ah, oh, it's just a blue one. I don't know what I was looking at. Oh no. That's what I saw. Yeah, it might be a difference here. I was looking at the big league's best, and we have some variation in the color scheme used between AL and NL. All right, next pack. I'd like to see a little bit more in the way of rookies for this, but I presume with this being for kind of the younger set that uh, these cards might be kind of based more on the veterans. I don't know, maybe I've just not picked out the right packs yet. Max Kepler, Woodruff, another big league best, batting league, batting average leaders, Malik Smith, Nicky Lopez, Didi Gregorius for Defensive Wizards. Michael Conforto for our Orange Parallel. Saves Leaders up next for the AL. Kyle Seeger. And Matthew Boyd. I'm trying to keep up pace with this. Oh, Bryce Harper. Good card for our PC. Emmett Rosario. Charlie Morton for the Rays. We got Bellinger et al. for the home run leaders with Alonzo and Suarez. Clayton Kershaw. Jacob DeGrom roll call card. We've seen one other with Victor Robles here. So that's a good parallel. I'm not picking this up at all. Uh, Howie Kendrick for our orange parallel. Josh Hader award winner is another dapper looking young man. Uh, Dakota Hudson. And Mike Miner to conclude that pack. Definitely a value rip. Um, you're not going to find just absurd hits with here. I know some people have, but those odds are pretty long for getting anything that's really worthwhile. Jose Urquidy, rookie card. We'll put that in a pile for the rookies. Aristides Aquino. This is our rookie pack, I guess. Syndergaard. Another Gavin Lux. This time is the white variant, the main line variant. Eduardo Rodriguez. Walks leaders from the NO. Zach Collins orange parallel rookie card. We got a Raphael Devers on the uh, caricature set. Mike Yastrzemski. And then Luis Castillo for our final card of the pack. I think this might be our halfway mark for this box. Verlander's Highlights card. Jeff Samargia. Ian Desmond. Luis Arias. We got the Acuna here. Good looking card. Three so far. McCutcheon for the Phillies. Always weird seeing him in a Phillies uniform. Cole Hamels for our orange parallel. Aaron Judge, PC and flipping out. And then a Trout base card here before a Robbie Cano. All right, let's give ourselves a little bit more space and dump these packs out. Just to see what we've got left. We got a nice little. I can't get it out. There's a little. That's probably annoying sounding. Styrofoam thing to hold the packs together. That's fun. I guess we're down to eight packs now. I'm sure Tops wouldn't want their packs bouncing around everywhere, uh, being shipped. 
enough minor damage on this one, and it was packed really well. I was surprised when I got it in from Priority Mail today. Wins leaders this time around. Vogelbach. Jonathan Schupp. Shane Bieber. One thing, I lived in the Cleveland area for a bunch of years, and I never went up to see an Indians game. Kind of sad. I know I did go to a... Um, Clippers game, Columbus Clippers game, uh, when Jeter might have been around. I'll have to look and see exactly when that was. I was a kid. Uh, but it was a pretty fun game. We got a Paul de Young Defensive Wizards, Orange Walks Leaders card, Nelly Cruz again, Mike Sororka, and then Zach Wheeler. Alright, we got our Eloy here. I think I'll add a hit. Nolan Arnano. Jonathan Villar. Max Monsi. Mike Moustakis. Acuna slipping out. That's a pretty fun set. We got a Aquino orange rookie card. We'll go and put that in a sleeve too. We've got a, a few Kino rookies from our Bowman openings. We'll have more of those in the future. I just got this one in today and uh, had to get this cracked. Uh, if you notice, those are some larger than normal penny sleeves I have for my relic cards, but I ran out of plain ones. Clevenger and Brendan Rogers. Goofy. An interesting card coming on up. Actually, let's leave that pack. That might be a big hit. Card looked pretty different than what I've been seeing on the side profile of each of these packs. Most of these look pretty plain if you look at them. Uh, but that one looked a little bit different. Jose Barrios. We got Granky. Trey Turner, Nick Senzel for the Reds. We got the Walks leaders here. Definitely collections of the biggest and best on these kind of uh, Walks uh, batting sort of cards. Uh, Francisco Lindor. We got a Bellinger Award winners orange parallel, so that's good. We got a Mike Trout here as well for the caricature card. <laughs> followed up by another Mike Trout. And then concluding with a Calhoun, a Cole Calhoun card. All right, we're going to keep this going. I like how there's a pretty big variety here. I haven't seen much in the way of uh, duplicates in this box yet. We got the Bellinger in the plain version. We got Cole Hamels. Pujols again. That is a duplicate. Marcus Stroman card. Nomar Mazar that popped up behind there. Javi Baez, defensive leaders card. Gio Ursula, orange parallel. David Price. RBI leaders. Brandon Belt. Get some of these cards off of here. I'm running out of space again. That's the only problem with these box openings. I've got a limited amount of real estate here on my raking cardboard. One of these days I won't be lazy and I'll actually get one of the big mouse pads that everybody has. House of Cards has it. Uh, I know what John Sports Cards has just a layout kind of like mine, a little fancier. Charlie Blackman. ERA leaders for the AL. Lords Goriel Jr. Hosmer. Another trout here. So lots of trout cards going on today. I'll help out the PC for that. Followed up by Pete Alonzo flipping out. Jorge Polanco, orange. 
another trout. Rechuk, Rechuk, and Michael Baez. We've been seeing a lot of his cards lately, so making up a little PC of him as well. Hopefully he ends up being uh, a bigger sort of star when things start back up or even into 21 and beyond if they don't. This pack opened uh, absolutely oddly. Okay, this is an awesome looking card, the Kiermaier card. It's a star behind him. Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez, rookie card here. That's another good hit. We're going to pause just for a second for another penny sleeve. I know it's just base, but still. Put that on up here. All right, Robbie Ray. Schwarber. That is an awesome looking picture. Try to even bring it up closer. I can't even tell. It looks like it's is that sunflower seeds and ice. Blake Snell. We pulled a bunch of his rookie cards out of 2016 Tops update. Matt Chapman. Stockus is the orange parallel this time. Bieber. Different card this time. Whit Merrifield. And the inning pitched leaders. Final normal pack, then we'll go back to our hit pack. And again, I'm probably just wrong and looking at something that's not there, but one can help. Wilson Contreras, Willie Adames, the Angels highlights, another Jordan Alvarez, this time just the plain rookie card. Let's do that again. And if this penny sleeve wants to cooperate with me. Yeah, the only problem with this box is it looks like a lot of these cards got dinged. We got a key boom up next. There we go. I was wrong. There's a Williams Astudio. Big League Autographs. All right. What's this card look like on the back? Very plain. But still, it is a well, sticker auto, but a good player. Definitely a lot of... Uh, Ability being shown. We'll get this pack done. I'll put that card up. Uh, Soto, roll call. Eduardo Rodriguez. Strasburg. And then Stan at the end. All right. So perhaps I was incorrect, or perhaps we have two hits in this box. But I had one final look, or pack I was a bit suspicious of in regards to what was in it. I might have just been full of it, actually. Let's look at this one last time. <laughs> Mitch Keller here starts us off. We have an Ichiro card. That's a good hit for this. Kyle Lewis rookie card. Brian Anderson. Jake Rogers rookie card. Ozzy Albies. Kevin Biggio orange. Well, that's a good ending to the uh, box. Bo Bichette, roll call card. Since we're about done. Paul Goldschmidt, and then Joey Gallo. So, yeah, I mean, we pulled a autograph here. No problem with that. We pulled some good rookies. We had the pair of Gavin Luxes. We had the pair of Jordans. We have the Bo Bichette. We've got the big stars. We've got the Aristides Aquino. 30 bucks. I mean, I probably still am out a few bucks. I know that there aren't a lot of cards that were numbered. Or not a lot. There weren't any cards that were numbered here. But in terms of odds for the pull, for that autograph, we're looking probably better than 136 packs, right? I showed that earlier. Oh, so that was a big league autograph. And that was a plain one. 1 in 78. So we hit odds um, that I'm pretty happy with. I'm a pretty good player, too. So check that out. Uh, let me know what you think. What's the best hit of the box here? And what do you look at, think about the overall aesthetic, the look of it? Just hit me up in the comments. This has been Setla38.